and your finished part is going to look something like this, where obviously you're holding the part outside the light curtain, and you have multiple flanges on all four sides of the part, this is where you want to teach an actual part. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Merlin control box. We're going to go under the job column. You're going to hit the select key and you're going to scroll until you find a screen that says create a job. And you're going to press the enter key. And it should say step one is ready. If for some reason it says anything other than step one is ready, exit out and re-enter again and, and that will always bring you back to step one is ready. So at that point you, you can pick up a blank and, and start the car. So you so the first thing you do is put the part in a position where you would normally hold it, where it's comfortable for you to hold and that's important. If you look at them at the Merlin screen, it's saying step one is ready. So what you're going to do now, once you hold the part in a, in a comfortable position, just tap the learn switch, which is on the, happens to be over to the right. Now if you look at the unit, it went from step one being ready to step one being programmed. So now you can go ahead and make, make the first step of the part. Hit start button. Okay. Now the part is in position for step two. Before you hit the learn switch, let's pan over to the Merlin, and it's saying step two is ready. Now while you keep it right on the Merlin, press the learn switch, and now it's program step two for the exact position the part is going to be held. That's a comfortable position for Sam as well. Okay, so go ahead and bend the part now. And over here. So now we've got two flanges on one far end. As far as the Merlin is concerned, it's still seeing a flat part in place. Okay, now if you pan over to the Merlin, you'll see step three is ready. Teach it. Step three is programmed. Now go ahead, Sam Hunter. Okay. Now hit the learn switch again. Teach it step four. And so far, so now Sam is going pretty fast here. Take a second. Now, if you look at the unit right now, step five is ready, and it's saying hazard two. It's saying that the flange that's now in the light curtain is big enough that it's blocking two beams of the system. So, and it's caused to keep the light curtain in a red condition. But watch what happens when Sam hits the learn switch. It, it went to se step five is now programmed, and you'll notice it's saying safe. Okay, so it's learned for step number five. That's where the flange has to be held. Go ahead and make your bend. Okay, now if he's ready to do stick number six, hit the learn switch. Step step six is programmed. Okay, he's flipping it around. Step seven is programmed. Program. Okay. Now the part is finished. Now here, you can put it on, put it down. Now here's where it gets tricky. You've taught it. Sam has taught it. Sam has taught it an eight bend part. The units in the still in the creative job or the learn mode. So it's ready to go to step number nine. But there is no step number nine. It's an eight bend part. So what you do is you press the exit key, you now leave the create a job mode, and you press the run key, and it's now running a new job, and it says step one of eight is ready. At this point, you can't teach it anything more. It's in a temporary memory, and you're ready to run as many parts as you need to run, and it's going to follow the pattern you bought it originally. So go ahead and let's make another part now, and let's watch it run this part.
it is like the old days before the lights were installed. It appears it's not slowing you down at all. It's running just fine. The, the major, go ahead. The major difference, was, I didn't put that. Right around that part. That's the difference. If your hands are in position, or I want to show you something else. If you take the part out of position, if you pan over to the unit, even though step seven of eight is ready, it's in a hazard condition because for step seven we bought it that the flange must be in position. It must be not in just in position, but where you taught it. And now you should be able to run that part with no issue at all. Uh, at this point, once it does shut off, is there any other way to hit that start button? I mean, will it turn itself back on at a certain point, or I'm actually going to have to stop? If you had a violation, if, if you start, I, I think if you need to hit the button now to start it. Okay. Go ahead. That software that the machine has built into it. Okay, go ahead. There's nothing. And that, that will let me wait for five or ten seconds and then it will start back up? No. The Merlin is as wired into the amount of control. So, okay, go. Let's get the part finished up. And you've now completed the part without touching the Merlin. And as far as we're concerned, you caught it on the first piece, you've made the second piece, and you can go through that whole entire stack of parts now without dealing with the Merlin system.